Okay, let's do something else. Let's do something a little bit more complex. Uh, I'm going to go back to our PowerPoint for a little guidance here. And the next thing would be, oh, we did the move GUI text object around. So you know you can position those things. And some reasons why it may not be working. I'm going to go on. Let's try for a score. Okay, so I want to set up a GUI score. We're going to make a new GUI text object, name it GUI score, attach a new script and call it hit target 2, and we're going to make a new script and call it score count in JavaScript. And we're going to attach hit target 2 to two different game objects, let's say two spheres, and make sure they have rigid bodies. And then we're going to attach score count in JavaScript to the GUI score game object. So pretty much the same thing as last time, but a little bit more complex. So uh, let's do it. So I'll start off with my spheres. Game object, create other, and sphere. And uh, that'll be one. And let's go ahead and give it a physics rigid body. And now let's do a control D. So there's two of these guys. And I'll just call this sphere, sphere 1 and hit return. And this will be sphere 2 and return. And now let's go to our scripts. And we have one called hit target 2. So that's going to go right on the target. So let's go ahead and scroll down so we can see this. Hit target 2. It's going to go there. And this guy's going to need the same thing. So hit target 2. Everything that's going to get hit by this thing needs the script. Now we need a new GUI text object. So we're going to go to Game Object, Create Other, GUI Text. And this will be GUI Score. And GUI Score is going to get um, Score Count. And so let's click on GUI score and drag score count over there. And let's see if it just works, because I can't remember if it works by default or not. Okay, so there it is. Let's shoot one. I think uh, I have to shoot this guy a few times before he's going to. Um... Now I'll show you the code in a minute. Okay. See how that one came up when I shot it like three or four times? Now I gotta find my way back home. And let's get this other one. I've got too much uh, mustard on this. Weapon. Okay, so now it shows two. So I gotta score every time I del um, eliminated or, de or destroyed that sphere. So let's see how it works. So, well, actually, before I do that, no, let's just go ahead and look at it. So hit target 2. Let's take a look at hit target 2. Okay, here's hit target 2. It's pretty much the same as hit target, but I've got a variable called t hits. I just made that up. And it's an integer equal to 1, or equal to 0. And at the end of when I destroy the game object, actually, I don't need this debug log in there right now, and I don't need this one either. Those debug logs can get a little bit annoying, so I'm going to comment those out right now. But the bottom line is the stuff that's in black and in color here is that we're, when we hit, um, when this sphere has a bullet clone hit it, these two things are going to happen. Destroy the collision game object, which is the bullet, and then t hits plus plus, which means t hits is equal to t hits plus one. Well, right now it's zero, so it becomes one, and then if this happens again, it becomes two, and then it becomes three. And then we have this update function we added on, and we say, if t hits is greater than 3, then destroy the game object, that is, the thing that we've attached this script to, which means the sphere. And then set score equal to um, plus plus score, which is score plus 
um, one. So here's our static var score. So remember, we need those static vars if we want to read this from another file. So now I'm going to go to my GUI score, and you'll notice we have score count is equal is is right here. It's attached to the GUI text. So what we're going to do is click on this and say edit script. And for score count JS, um, we have a variable called score show, and a function called start. And at the beginning of start, we're just setting up some GUI text and saying let it show nothing at all. We don't want any numbers or letters there. And then we have our update function, which is run on every frame. And we say, if hit target 2 score, there's hit target 2 right there. And there's the score for hit target 2. And here it is being updated. Anyway, if hit target 2, the script, has a variable called score that's greater than 0, then score show is equal to, and there's score show, is equal to hit target to score and then I've got to convert it to a string so I'm doing this to string function on it and get component GUI text which was nothing which wasn't showing any text at all is now going to be get component GUI text is equal to score show so what's score show? score show is hit target to score and then it's made into a string so that we can show it as text on the on the screen so that's how that works and the key thing there to remember is that our score whatever it is you're trying to read from another JavaScript or another C sharp has to be a static variable it has to be a static variable to read that so I made sure I put a static in front of that, otherwise it's not going to read it. So we go back in, and we'll make a slight adjustment now. Um, that thing was GUI score. Let's just change the font size to um, 12, and enter, and play, and... Okay, so one. Okay, so I just made the font size bigger. It wasn't big enough, so I made font size 36 on the GUI text. Let's take a look at it now. There we go. And we need to move this as well. Let's uh, let's see where we want to move this one to. I think upper right hand corner. So 0 0.95, 0 0.95 probably. Let's. Uh, Let's see. GY score point nine five point nine five. And that's good for now. So uh, all we've really done is we've set up a system. Actually, let's add a little weight to these guys. So our rigid body mass, let's say, is 10, because I don't want them to be so hard to um, shoot when I'm testing. I want to make my testing life easier. There we go. So our score is 2 and we could just keep going from there. So that's how doing a little bit more complex score works. Again, uh, if we go back to our code, if we go back to our code, we're using hit target 2 and score count together as a pair and so one thing to watch out for is make sure that uh, score count is actually calling the program you think you're calling instead of like hit target or hit target 3 or whatever so keep those things straight and you should be in good shape